Well, good evening. Here we go with another one of the uh, um, shortwave radio reviews tonight. Uh, tonight we're having a look at a radio that's exceptionally rare in Australia um, and I suspect is fairly uncommon throughout the world anyway. Uh, this is of course the JVC FR6600 JW and uh, came out around about the uh, late 1970s or 1980s and uh, it's a very interesting set. JVC weren't particularly known for uh, bringing out shortwave receivers um, so this is in itself is uh, a reason to collect this particular radio. So let's have a look at a few of its features. Uh, here we've got the uh, power on off switch, we've got separate bass and treble controls, um, we have a crystal calibrator up here um, to assist in shortwave tuning, uh, we've got an audio filter um, which is quite effective to cut out a fair bit of um, uh, background noise. Uh, we've got an automatic free frequency control here for uh, FM and a medium wave attenuator DX local. We've also got a BFO uh, on a switch there and your BFO pitch control here. Um, over here we've got a main tuning control. Uh, we've got the wave change switch just down here. You can see there we've got FM, medium wave, short wave 1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, we've got an RF gain control and here we've got a fine tuning control uh, for short wave. Uh, very interesting meter, uh, tuning meter here and also which doubles up as a battery meter as well and uh, which you actually can test uh, using this switch here uh, to test the uh, condition of your batteries. Uh, of course you've got the main tuning control there and uh, this is a feature I like on this particular radio. Uh, the dial light you can actually switch on. Uh, you probably can't see very uh, very much there. Of course the, uh, the light on here in the kitchen. A uh, very large speaker and uh, uh, your earphone socket there. Large um, telescopic antenna and very handy um, um, carriage strap there. Let's swing the radio around. The side, just a straight um, side of the radio on the back. Um, you can see fairly in here would be a fairly large ferrite rod. Um, so uh, its medium wave performance is, as you'd expect, quite uh, quite good. Here we've got external AM and FM antenna connections, and uh, there you've got uh, the details of this particular receiver. Uh, down here, uh, a battery container uh, compartment for four D cells. Underneath the radio, you've got uh, an AC input selector uh, from 120 volts to 240 volts. Uh, so it was uh, a radio that was designed for release world, Brian. Uh, on this side of the radio, uh, you've got um, a receiver out. Um, you've got an earphone jack there. Uh, you've got a DC input jack there, and you've got an AC input there. So that's really basically what this uh, uh, radio is uh, capable of. Uh, you can see there on the uh, on the main tuning dial, uh, you've got uh, your standard uh, 88 to 108 megahertz um, broadcast FM band. You've got your standard uh, media wave from around about 530 to 16. Um, 50 or so kilohertz and uh, then you've got shortwave 1 which goes from 1.6 megahertz to probably a bit over 4 megahertz although it says 4 megahertz on the dial there. Shortwave 2 goes from 4.5 megahertz uh, to a bit over 10, pretty well actually close to 11 megahertz there. Shortwave 3 goes from 11.7 megahertz to 20 megahertz and shortwave 4 goes from uh, 21 megahertz to 30 megahertz. 
you know, even though there's a, it shows that there's a gap there, there uh, really is that it's almost um, pretty well continuous coverage uh, from 1.6 megahertz to 30 megahertz over four bands. Uh, this re receiver is um, dual conversion on shortwave, single conversion on, um, on medium wave and uh, FM. So, um, superb performer. Um, here we have a uh, Radio New Zealand International, which I quite often uh, sit down and listen to. And um, just tuning up a little bit. And there's old brother Scare there. And uh, from the United States. Um, and, you know, what can I say, there's plenty of stations there, there's a lot of noise from my neighbours' um, plasma TV sets. It's going up to the 49, or 75 metre band, I should say. And, um, yeah, there we go, I'm just uh, a bit noisy, unfortunately, because of the neighbours' TV set. But, um, Anyway, that can't be helped. Uh, you get an idea of the uh, of the radio. Um, anyway, uh, as I said, exceptionally rare here in Australia, and um, I don't think it's uh, all that particularly common elsewhere either. I think in Japan it came out as the um, the Victor, um, and um, which. Still was built, obviously made by uh, JVC, and uh, yeah, there we go. What have we got up the top? So very, very nice radio. And this one is virtually in mint condition. Um, came with all the documentation, the original box, uh, which I was very happy to get. So um, it was a radio that um, uh, you know worthwhile getting hold of. Uh, considering its rarity. All right then, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's uh, uh, quick look at uh, the JVC uh, FR6600 um, JW um, six-band receiver. Uh, cheers for that and uh, catch you next time.